When a light shines onto a piece of glass, the glass can reflect light patterns onto nearby surfaces. In rendering, this effect is called caustics. To create this effect in RenderWorks, point a strong spotlight onto a glass object and then adjust its angle to create the desired effect. The light must have certain settings, which we'll describe in a minute, and after that, render the scene in RenderWorks with the RenderWorks options set to display caustics. So the first step is to adjust the light settings. We'll open the exercise file and then go to Saved View 1. The exercise file already contains a spotlight. Now select the spotlight, which is pointing toward the object, and then adjust the light settings in the Object Info palette. We'll change the brightness to 500%. We'll click on the Caustic Photons drop-down box and select High. And then we'll select the Show Caustics Only checkbox. By checking the setting, we make the spotlight display only the caustics effect without adding more light to the scene. And that's a special feature of this setting. And then finally, we render in Final Quality RenderWorks. Now we can enhance the caustics effect by adding a bump shader to the glass texture, and this will add patterns and textures to the reflections. But we need to be aware that the bump shader will also affect the appearance of the glass object itself, obviously. So right-click on the glass object and then in the context menu that opens we'll select locate overall texture in resource manager and then in the resource manager right-click on the highlighted texture and select edit and then in the edit texture dialog box click on the bump drop-down box and select noise Click on the Bump Shaders Edit button, the Edit Noise Shader dialog box opens, and then click on the Pattern drop-down box and select SEMA. So that's the pattern we're going to choose for this example. Click OK and then click OK again in the Edit Texture dialog box. And finally render again in Final Quality RenderWorks and now we can see the effect. Now when we render in Custom RenderWorks or in RenderWorks styles, we can display caustics also, but we need to adjust their settings to display the caustics effect. In Custom RenderWorks, go to View Rendering Custom RenderWorks Options, and in the Custom RenderWorks Options dialog box, just make sure that the caustics checkbox is selected. And if you're using RenderWorks styles, go to the Resource Manager, right click on the style you prefer to use, and then select Edit and the Edit Render Work Style dialog box opens and then select the Caustics checkbox.